Okay, so today we are going to talk about comparing numbers using a place value chart. So the first thing that you need to do is create your place value chart on your paper. So ones, tens, hundreds, and then I'm going to abbreviate thousands with TH, thousands, and then T for 10, and then TH for 10 thousands, and then H for hundreds, and TH for thousands. So this is our standard place value chart. So if we were comparing these two numbers, the first thing that I would do is I would make my place value chart. And then I'm just gonna put those numbers right into it. And then you start at the greatest plate. So this case, we're gonna start here because the hundred thousands is the biggest place. And now we can compare one and one. Those numbers are the same number. So if that's the same, then I move to the next place. A zero and zero. Those numbers are the same. So I have to move to the next place. Two and two. Those numbers are the same. So I have to move to the next place. Six and seven. Six is smaller than seven. So then I'm going to rewrite my numbers just how they were written at the top. And I said, six was less, so I'm gonna put one dot by the six. I said seven was more, so I'm gonna put two dots by the number that has the seven in it. And now I can connect to get my symbol. So this reads as 102,645 is less than 102,783. Now, you could have written it this way, but you need to be careful when looking over your answer choices or typing in that your symbol opens the correct way. Notice this time the smaller number comes second. <clears throat> so the number with the six I put one dot by, the number with the seven in it once we had compared we said that was bigger, so I put two dots by it. I connect my symbol. This now reads that 102,783 is greater than 102,645. You also will hear terms such as equal to, which I think we all know equal to means that the numbers are the same. And then greater than, I mean, uh, greatest to least and least to greatest. So greatest to least. This means that the numbers are in order from the biggest to the smallest. So if I have, and I'm just going to do to my hundreds here, but remember, we go all the way to the hundred thousands, into the millions. The process never changes. It stays the same. So I have my hundreds, tens, ones, and I'm just going to put some numbers in here. So greatest to least is the biggest to the smallest. So my largest number was 152. My smallest number I know was 123. So that means 124 would go in between. Now if it had said least to greatest, that means that you are starting with the smallest number and you're ending with the largest. 
I hope that you found this video helpful.